Okay, this is an article that came out on Quartz, January 3rd, 2018. U.S. millennials were almost 20% more likely to die in 2016 and 2014. The U.S. is one of the wealthiest countries in the world. It's the world's center for innovation and medical science, yet the country can't keep their youth from dying. U.S. millennials are now dying at such high rates that it's driven life expectancy in the country to decline for two years in a row. The first time that's happened since the early 1960s. The preliminary cause for the trend is the opioid plague. According to recent data from the Center for Disease Control, 129 out of every 100,000, 25 to 34 year olds, U.S. adults died in 2016, not since 1995 at the height of the HIV AIDS epidemic have the rates been so high among this group and you can see it's really going up wow death rates among young adults in the u.s are skyrocketing and the sad part is you will never get the real numbers because all 50 states don't report to the center for disease control only 22 out of the 50 states. So that's where that 64,000 number comes from, but it's not coming from all 50 states. So it's very deceiving. The speed at which death rates are rising among young adults in the U.S. is staggering. In just two years, from 2014 to 2016, the rate at which 25 to 34-year-olds died rose by 19%. Per 108, um, I'm sorry, from 108 per 100,000 to 129. Death rates also grew quickly for those 15 to 24 and 35 to 44 years old. At the same time, the elderly are dying a bit less, and life expectancy for those that reach 75 continues to rise slowly. Now, here's the chart, and as you can see, starting around 15 through 19, down to 35 to 44, those are your biggest groups right now dying from drug overdose. Wow. Who knew it was as young as 15? But we're in America. The explanation for the trend is simple. Young Americans are overdosing on drugs, particularly opioids. In 2010, just 18 out of every 100,000 Americans aged 25 to 34 died from a drug overdose. By 2014, that rate rose about 23 in 100,000. Then it really took off. From 2014 to 2016, it spiked by 50% to almost 35. The majority of this rise can be accounted for by an increase of deaths from heroin, 3.4 to 4.9 for every 100,000. Natural and synthetic non-heroin opioids like oxycodone, 3.8, to 4.4 and most importantly synthetic prescription opioids like fentanyl 1.8 to 6.2 beginning in the 1990s doctors began over prescribing opioids for pain management leading many patients to become addicted J Joshi the former chairman for the National Pain Foundation wrote in Quartz that ignorance among physicians and aggressive marketing by opioid manufacturers are primarily to blame for this crisis. Prescription opioids like oxycodone aren't that dangerous, but patients can be easily addicted and so seek out more potent, cheaper, and conveyors of opiates 
like heroin and fentanyl, which has led to the recent spike in opioid-related deaths. Rising death rates in U.S. young adults are mostly due to drug overdoses. And you can see from the line, it has gone up rapidly every single year. Starting from, look like, 2009 all the way to 2015. Yeah. And that's 25 to 34. 35 drug overdose per 100,000. Ages 25 to 34. Quarterly drug abuse data from the CDC show that the death rate from drug abuse increased throughout 2016, and there is little evidence in primarily 2017 data that the situation is improving. In October 2017, Trump declared the opioid plague a public health emergency. The move allow some federal funds to be redirected to the crisis, but it did not specify an amount. That decision is still in the hands of the Republican-controlled Congress. Trump also appointed Kellyanne Conway, the former pollster and campaign strategist, as his opioid czar, and she's not going to do anything she can't. Despite her questionable qualifications for the job, the moves have been seen by some public health experts as a paltry response to the crisis, who say the U.S. will need to spend billions of dollars on addiction treatment, including large investments into medications that help wean addicts off opioids in order to solve the problem. And they can't solve this problem, ladies and gentlemen. It's too many millions of people on these drugs. That's why they can't do nothing about it, okay? They let this problem spiral so out of control. Now they want to jump to action, and it's just far, it's just way too late. It's too late. It really is. You know, you would have to be everywhere at all times of the day around these junkies and I don't know about you but I would never want a job where I would have to watch over a junkie <laughs> I would have a serious problem with that please tell me what you think please leave your comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit on that notification bell also join me over on black junction tv and also on blackspot.com Peace, family.